In today's screencast, I'm going to show you two tips when working with shapes in Articulate Storyline. So the first tip I have is when you're inserting a shape. So we're going to go to the Insert tab, Shape, and I'm just going to select a rectangle. Now, when you're creating a shape, if you hold down the Shift key while you create your shape, you can control it a little bit more. So I'm actually going to change to a circle or an oval. So you can see that when I uh, just freehand create a shape, it's not uh, as symmetrical. It's more oblong um, and looks more like an oval. But if you hold down the shift key while you create your shape, oh, sorry, I need to insert another shape here. your shape will have symmetry. And if you want to enlarge your shape, just hold the shift key, drag the shape to the size you want it to be, and it will retain its symmetry. Um, you can do this creating ovals, you can do creating any shape. So that's the first tip. Now I'm just going to uh, delete both of these and the next tip I wanted to show you is when working with text. Now too often I see people do this. So they create their shape and then they um, add a text box. They add a uh, text box to... So we've got our text and then they add the text box to the shape. And they position it where they want it, so that they want it centered. Um, this is not how you should be including text on your shapes. I mean, there are circumstances in which this could be effective, but when you create a shape, by default, you can add text to a shape. So if I wanted to add my text, I just start, I click my shape and just start entering the text. Now, if I've got several lines of text um, and I want to uh, position it. All you have to do is highlight your text and do your um, font formatting. So you can position it to wherever you'd like it positioned. You can um, adjust the spacing. You can change the text direction. You can align the text. So if it's too much in the middle and you want it to be on the top, you can do that. So this is a lot more efficient than having multiple slide objects. So if you had, say, five uh, rectangles on your slide and then you had five text boxes on your slide, it's not really effective. And then I also see people adding a text box to a shape and then grouping them. And then you've got, say, five groups and it's it makes no sense. So this is how you should be adding text to your shapes. So those are the first two tips that I have when working with shapes. I'll be back um, on another day to discuss more shape tips.